Shortly after the arrival of the Columban Fathers, Catholic high schools appeared in most of the parishes under the Columban Fathers. With this background, Binalbagan Catholic High School was founded in June 1957 by Father Thomas Cronin, who was then the parish priest of Binalbagan. It started with 240 students. Mrs. Teresa Guanco was the first principal. The school started with six classrooms. Around January 1958, six months after its conception, Father Patrick Hurley took over as director and stayed on until the end of the school year 1968 to 1969. School year 1978-79 was marked by a significant change in the administration of BCC. The school administration was turned over completely to the Presentation Sisters by the Columban Fathers. Sister Mary Aquila C. was the first Presentation Sister appointed as Directress of BCC, while Sister Puis Murphy was the first Presentation Sister in the high school department. Mrs. Pasita Yulo, who remained the principal. The faculty and staff turned 38 in the high school department with an enrollment of 1,145 students, half of which is in the church campus and the other half in the extension site. And the recognition of who is the best is always contested by one parent or two parents that we really have sometimes to um, get somebody from the department to moderate as to who really should get the, the, um, the best because even just a poem maybe, not even a poem one, it could be less and that's really contested by the parents because also the enrollment is very big and aside from that but I believe there were so many gifted and bright students and then the next one was, um, you know we were near the parish uh, I think I remember mentioning it maybe before that you know, children just wander away. So the parish priest was always complaining. They're inside the church, what they're doing, they're studying or they're playing or what they're doing. And then he had a, his ground was quite small, you know, in, in front. And they're still there doing something with the plants. And, and I used to tell him, so what shall we do with them, mom? <laughs> and this was it. I don't know, sister. I think we have to move somewhere. Oh, I think that was the beginning that we gradually moved our high school to the next, uh, the present location. Mm -hmm. It was only in school year 1993-1994 that the entire high school department was moved to the extension site. New classrooms were added under the administration of Sister Teresita Lemchaco. In the school year 1994-95, Sister Ophelia Versosa was assigned as directress of BCC. In the following year, Sister Mary Aquila C. took over as school head and served the post till the year 2000. During her term, a new chapel was constructed in the high school campus. It was made possible through and by the generous donations of the alumni, private companies, and friends of the Presentation Sisters abroad. I think this is a high school has achieved much uh, in the 60 years. And first of all that I could remember is <coughs> BCC was recognized just as a parish or the UCSAN school. Uh, one of those that the Columban Fathers started for the people um, who could not afford to go somewhere. Uh, but as we went on, we became constantly recognized as one of the best in the region or in the province. I think that was a milestone. Mm -hmm. they, came out, they came out as, you know, outstanding students and there were even board passers. Those that were in our high school that proceeded to accountancy and remained in BCC even became top-notchers. Oh, I think that was a milestone for us. Beginning school year 2000, the school adopted the principle of team management as the management style. The first set of administrative team was composed of presentation sisters and lay workers. Mrs. Josefina Sinaon was appointed as principal during this year and she stayed on until 2006. Currently, the administrative team members are Sister Aquila C, Sister Anneli Garciano, Sister Anneli Vista, Ms. Mary Rose Calderon, and Mr. Ariel Solina. The high school principal now is Mrs. Catherine Brizuela. 
Um, BCC is celebrating its 60 years of being a Catholic uh, transformative education that we offer to the students in Binalbagan. We still continue the charism of Venerable Nana Natal uh, in educating our youngs, especially the youngs in Binalbagan. This time, there are challenges with, uh, that we uh, face also in giving a quality and a Catholic education so in BCC because you know our students now are millennials so youngs now are uh, very limited especially in their classroom and their lesson they are also attentive but that time the, the time or the fun no, of their uh, attention inside the classroom is uh, very short because they are you know, millennials are very honed in, in gadgets, so I think the challenge is still there, but we still continue to, to, to give them uh, the quality that we want for them, the Catholic education that we want, and we hope that even challenges may come along the way, but we still continue that transformative and quality education that we can give. As long as BCC is here, so we still continue to, to give that kind of education. And of course, educators are here to really serve the, the students in the Albagan Catholic College. So BCC is uh, offering senior high school. So this is the third year of uh, uh, serving students in grade 11 and grade 12. We offer academic tracks and there are three strands in the academic tracks. So you have the UMS, the STEM, and the ABM. For those students who will who want to be to be an educators, who want to get education, um, they enroll in UMS. So humanities and social sciences. So courses in college, uh, which includes humanities, social sciences, so they enroll in UMS. And then STEM, these are students who will uh, take uh, engineering. So STEM is science, technology, engineering, and math. So those who will get nursing, engineering, so they are they, they enroll in, in STEM. And of course, ABM is uh, academic uh, track, no? a strand, I mean, uh, that offers for those who will take uh, management courses, accountancy, SBA. So these are the, the tracks that we offer. So we only have one track, so that is academic track. So we apply in TechVoc because we also have our home economics no? and uh, we also have ICT in college, but the admin opt to have only in a home academic track. For more than 60 years, Binalbagan Catholic College continues to shine amid struggles and hardship in rendering quality education in relation to teaching innovations and trends. Uh, my dream and the dream of, of all uh, in Binalbagan Catholic College that uh, we still continue to be a Christ-centered, no? then we advocate for excellence, but of course, um, our dream is that we have a one campus no, for the, the junior high school and the senior high school because now we have two campuses for the junior and the senior high school. Our grade 7 and grade 8 and grade 9 is here and grade 10 is on the college department. So uh, as we continue in our advocacy for excellence, so we hope that we have the one campus for, for, the, for the BCC Junior and Senior High School. So that's our dream that all of us will be here. And also to continue the, the mission Now we work together in order for us also to have that program wherein it can also help both the Junior High School and the Senior High School. So I hope God will continue to bless us that, we, that BCC will still exist after 10 years 
I would have so much inspiration. Like BCC is considered to be one of the pioneers in education for justice, social transformation, environment friendly. So what I hope and aspire for is that someday our graduates will become exemplary people in those values and would be considered one of those people with integrity, uh, especially with the kind of society that we have, kind of politics that we have, economy that we have. Another is that our facilities will be able to meet the highest standards um, of the schools nationally, even internationally. Binalbagan Catholic College continues to give quality Catholic education by honing the minds, transforming the hearts, and edifying the souls of the new generation of millennials of Southern Negros and preparing them for a brighter future.